Good day, learners. In this video, we will discuss about showing which constellations may be observed at different times of the year using models. Let's start. Let's recall the meaning of constellations. Constellations are groups of stars that appear to have been forming a pattern or picture. In this lesson, we will learn more about the different constellations which are visible in different months of the year. Overall, there are 88 constellations recognized by International Astronomical Union and NASA. The list that we will see in the following slides only talks about the set of stars which we will see in a particular month, but only at 9 p.m. It is possible to change every hour before and after the said time. Take note that most constellations are visible for more than just one month. Let's start with January. Here are the constellations which are more visible during January, Selim, Orion, Dorado, Reticulum, Mensa, and Taurus. Next, here are the constellations which are more visible during February, Origa, Camelopardalis, Lepus, Minoceros, Columba, Pictor, and Gemini. The constellations most visible during March are Cancer, Canis Minor, Carina, Lynx, Puppis, Pyxis, Vela, and Volans. On the other hand, constellations that are more visible during April are Antlia, Chameleon, Hydra, Leo, Leo Minor, Sextans, and Ursa Major. Now, here are the constellations which are more visible during May, Canes Venatici, Crux, Cantorus, Musca, Coma Berenices, Virgo, and Corvus. Now, here are the constellations which are more visible during June, Boötes, Lupus, Circinus, Ursa Minor, and Libra. These are the constellations more visible during July. There are more constellations visible during July, Apis, Ophiuchus, Era, Hercules, Scorpius, Corona Borealis, Norma, Serpens, Draco, Triangulum, and Austral. These are the constellations more visible during August, Corona Austrina, Scutum, Lyra, Sagittarius, and Telescopium. These are the constellations more visible during September, Aquila, Microscopium, Capricornus, Equilius, Pavo, Cygnus, Indus, Sagitta, Delphinus, and Vulpecula. These are the constellations more visible during October, Aquarius, Octans, Cepheus, Pegasus, Grus, Piscus Austrinus, and Lacerta. These are the constellations more visible during November, Andromeda, Pisces, Cassiopeia, Sculptor, Phoenix, and Tucana. Lastly, these are the constellations that we will see more clearly during December, Aries, Horologium, Cetus, Eridanus, Hydrus, Perseus, Fornax, and Triangulum. There are also stars that can be seen clearly all year round. They are called circumpolar stars. Many stars in the northern and southern hemispheres. Northern circumpolar stars are Ursa Major, Ursa Minor, Cassiopeia, and Cygnus. Southern circumpolar stars are Crux, Carina, and Centaurus. In summary, there are around 88 constellations recognized by the IAU and NASA. Throughout the year, there are several constellations that can be seen in the night sky, but almost all of them are more visible in a particular month. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you never miss a new video. Also, feel free to leave a comment down below with any feedback or suggestions for future videos. I appreciate your support, and I'll see you in the next one.